All right, just to confirm, I've muted everybody and we will do a Q&A afterwards. Um, this is actually about um, an aspect of water that I hadn't really come in contact with until it hit me in the head like a two by four. Um, I had actually started to lose my hair and we couldn't figure out why. And we had tried a bunch of different things. And um, as I started to do the research, uh, we ended up trying a specific uh, shower unit at a friend's house it was on a well. And I thought that was odd. And he said, no, this, this makes it like a, those magic Japanese um, hot springs. And I was like, sure, whatever. I'll be glad to. Um, but I didn't know, and maybe you didn't know, that if you take a shower, you take in a bath or a hot tub or a swimming pool or something like that, for 15 minutes, you absorb as much chlorine through your skin as if you drank a whole quart of that exact same water. I didn't know that. Um, and actually I was stunned when I found out and I started to test it on myself. And I've actually, many of you have probably already watched a little chlorine demo where it shows how fast it absorbed into your skin. Um, found it amazing. And considering the body is 72% water, it's, it, it really wants to, uh, reach an equilibrium with whatever substance it's in. If there's a lot of chlorine or salts or whatever, your body literally will absorb that through the skin. Um, <clears throat> and like I said, I had discovered electrolyzed reduced water. Uh, many of you have heard Skylar's story how she was born in 09. Uh, she had gastroschisis, which is she was literally born inside out. Um, that picture right there at the top is the day she was born just a few minutes later. And the good news is that's Skylar today as well. But uh, she suffered from acute dehydration syndrome and it nearly killed her, uh, destroyed me. I mean, it just was unreal, my family. Uh, our kids were pulled out of sports, our businesses suffered, and it really, the impact was unreal because she suffered from acute dehydration. And we actually found that in using different types of water, she could actually absorb that water through her skin, and it literally helped save her life. Um, that water is called electrolyzed reduced water. Um, and it really is, scientifically speaking, the best water you can possibly put in your body. You can look it up, you can Google it, you can research it. Um, it's one that's been struck by lightning or a high, high level of electricity, and it blows the bonds apart, it creates hydrogen, oxygen, hydroxide, all that good stuff. Um, anything else that you're going to try and drink, you're welcome to it, but it's, it's really not quite the same quality. Um, we ended up doing a bunch of research. We found out that it was involved with cancer, with diabetes. Obviously, the gastrointestinal pair was a big deal for us. And obviously, there was a healing mechanism. It helped with the nervous system and whatnot. And that's when we really started to look into the effects of water, but we couldn't figure out what was going on. And like I said, when you take a shower, you absorb a lot of chlorine. And as I started to look into it, I was like, wow, that makes a lot of sense because the skin is actually the largest organ in the body. Um, it's actually your connection to your environment. And if you're in water, you're actually absorbing all that water. If you're in a public pool, the hot tub, if you've ever walked into the um, the jacuzzi at the, the, we used to go to the gym and work out a lot. And it was always like, get in the hot tub. I didn't realize how much chlorine you, you absorb. And it's a protective mechanism, but it's also extremely sensitive. And when you get something around the follicles of your hair, it'll actually drive it down deep into your skin and it can affect your sebaceous glands, but can also affect your, your thyroid, your thymus, um, really stress your endocrine system. Um, that was an issue that I was having was because it was affecting my thyroid. Um, now everybody worries about chlorine and whether it's in their water or their drinking water, but nobody really thinks about the bathing water or putting it in the pool. It's just what you do. But here's the reality. If you have a thyroid issue, an endocrine stress issue, or a health issue, bathing in chlorinated water is one of the worst things you can do, whether it's a pool, a hot tub, your shower. Um, and the reason being is chlorine is belongs to a family of, uh, chemicals called halogens. That's where you get your fluorines, your bromines, your chlorines, all that. And what they do is they compete for the binding site, specifically in the thyroid, which affects your immune system, your metabolism, your energy, your weight, things like that. And so when you stress the thyroid, you actually start to stress the adrenal glands, you stress the thymus, you stress the pancreas, you stress the adrenals. All these things come into play and it can really wreak havoc with your body from an endocrine standpoint. Um, it's easily one of the most overlooked health concerns that we have when we talk to people. Um, and it's, you know, 
it's not anybody's real fault because it really is everywhere. It's in our tap water, it's in our bath water, showers, pools. Like I said, the scary part is if you actually rinse your food off in tap water, it actually absorbs straight into your fruits and veggies. You cook it into your pasta. Um, it's, it's amazing what, where it ends up when we started to test people with our bioscans. We were finding a lot of chlorine toxicity and you know it's because people are literally everywhere in it. Um, many of you have seen the chlorine absorption test. If you haven't, it's on YouTube. Uh, I actually do a test where I have tap water and I absorb, I do one where I stick my fingers in it, wait 60 seconds and you can literally see all the chlorine is gone. Highly recommend you watch it, you'll like it. Um, it will really explain a lot. Um, but what I wanted to touch base on and part of the reason you're here is because of the bathing. Now it would be really nice if we could all just jump on a plane and fly to Japan and get uh, sitting in one of their onsens. That's one of their really fancy hot springs because you know we saw last samurai and he's like nearly died and he jumps in there and he feels real good and then he's ready to go back and fight. And you know, there's a lot of that mystery of the healing spas and you know, the fountain of youth, et cetera, et cetera. And the reality is there's a lot of truth to that. Um, there's something that is called an onsen in Japan. And that actually means hot spring. It uh, has a very, very strict regulation of what it does. They actually started to use legal ramifications for what defines a hot spring and an onsen. And they have to be at a certain temperature. They have to have a certain level of minerals. They have to have all these different things because they do actually have legitimate health benefits. Um, and when I say legitimate health benefits, I mean, literally to the point that they are regulated by the Ministry of Health. Um, if um, they're tested several times a year, they have to maintain mineral contents, they need to maintain uh, concentrations, they need to maintain temperatures. And it's literally because they have been clinically proven to become a medical hot spring, which means it has legitimate pharmacological health benefits that help with a variety of conditions. The number one hot spring in the world is actually in Hokkaido. Um, it's, num it's actually literally registered as a number one hot spring health resort. Um, it's been operating for over 300 years and it's in Futamata. And again, it's heavily regulated by the Ministry of Health in Japan. It's kind of the standard by which they judge all the other onsens and hot springs. Um, and it's extremely protected because it's considered a na uh, natural tre uh, treasure, which I thought was interesting. Now, one of the things that's in this is what's called a radium tufa mineral. And it, it's volcanic in nature in the fact that that's where they get all their minerals and their concentrations and limestone that dissolves into the hot tubs that creates this healing benefit. Uh, you can look it up online, it's really cool. We had the opportunity to go to an onsen when we were in Japan back in 2013. It wasn't this one, but it would have been really fun if it was. But here's the fact. It not only just feels good because you're soaking in a hot tub. Anybody can soak in a hot tub and go, yeah, it feels great. But when you get into a hot spring that is qualified as an onsen by Japanese law, you're actually running into a mineral content that actually feeds the skin and feeds the body and actually starts to repair the body from the inside out. It can detoxify, it can add minerals, it can replace electrolytes. It's really quite fascinating once you start to realize it's not just bathing, it, it is its own art form. Uh, when you start to look into it, one of the things that the Ministry of Health regulates, a couple of the probably your top five or six, sulfur, copper, radium, carbon dioxide, which I thought was interesting, sodium carbon, bicarbonate, the chloride ions, and silica. And they all have a different purpose from dry skin, dermatitis, eczema, anema, anemia, constipation, blood pressure. All these things are actually improved, clinically tested with trials to improve when you get into these hot springs. Um, and like I said, their potency to heal is pretty amazing. When you get into the concept of what are all the different ways? Well, there's the elements, there's the heat. One of the interesting thing was the buoyancy. It decompresses when, you, when you're just floating there, it, it changes the hydrodynamic pressure in the body, increasing blood flow, gets your lymph going, takes the uh, stress away and you know, sometimes it's as simple as changing the environment. For me personally, when I soak in a hot tub or a, the onsen or whichever, uh, it reduces the electromagnetic stress for me because I'm really sensitive. Many of you have seen the Q-Link that I wear. 
So it really has an insulating effect and, and highly beneficial. Besides, let's just face it, the monkeys look happy. Um, as I was talking about, they have a very regimented, strict regulations that they use to quantify these things. And they literally have research on thyroid issues, cancer, rashes, eczema, psoriasis. If you look at that bottom left corner there, the bald guy, that was me 10 years ago. It's all back. Um, and that's actually when I discovered uh, the uh, Anespa, which is the Japanese onsen that you can put in your home. And uh, my wife did it actually for her skin because she had adult onset acne. And it's really been amazing what we've discovered with it and had. And again, it's the onsen, it's the Anespa. It's an onsen system for daily spa use. Um, what they've done is they've gone in and they've mined the tufa minerals. They got the mineral rights and they're allowed to mine these. And they actually took these in ceramic cartridges, as you can see here. And what they do is they, it's double filtered. It removes everything from like halogens, trimethyl uh, chlorides. And then it goes through, changes the charge on the water, hits it with these minerals. And you literally have this in your home. You can bathe in it, you can shower in it. It is a night and day difference between what my wife's skin looked like and hair looked like before. The girls love it for their hair. It's really quite amazing. Like I said, it's got that filter. Um, trihalomethanes are the gas outgassings that you get from when you mix the different chemicals in a municipal water supply. Phenols, obviously it removes chlorine. Uh, if you look right here, this is the ceramic cartridge. This is a dirty, ready to be replaced filter that was coming out of the unit. And here's a new one that they're getting ready to replace it with. Uh, it's phenomenal, works really, really well. It changes the structure of the water and ionizes it with what's called neodymium magnets. If you've ever played with one there, those rare earth, they like really, really hold tight. They're kind of fun to play with. And so that's what really makes this unique. It is literally a Japanese hot spring that you can have in your home, use it every day. It is the only one of its kind in the world. So if you've got any endocrine issues, health issues, thyroid issues, um, skin issues, hair loss. That's one of the things that we always recommend to our clients is like, you know, you're 72% water. We've got you drinking the best water possible. Now here's the next thing you can do. What are you bathing in? What does it look like? What's it doing to your skin? What's it doing to your body? Um, some of our clients obviously have been saying my skin, skin's never felt better. And that's just a fact because the water has been restructured. It's ionized. It's got all these incredible minerals. It makes your health, skin really, really healthy and you don't get like that ashen dried out look. Um, Abby will tell you straight up that her skin is so much better than it used to be. My hair was an issue. Um, definitely have more energy because when you actually shut down the thyroid with chlorine, you actually get exhausted and tired because the thyroid helps to produce energy. And uh, so there you have it. Lots of interesting things that our people are saying and doing. So if you really want to bathe in something like this every single day, in your own home, uh, get back in touch with the person that sent this to you. We can chat if you've got some health issues, we can set you up with a bio scan if you need to. But um, you know, when you get into the water, you get into the, the shower units, you're really, really addressing the 75% of you that's water, not just the 25% that's all the stuff you eat and do and sleep and exercise and nutrition. All that adds up to the 75% that's not water. So get back in touch with the person that sent this to you. If you have any questions or you want to schedule a, a coaching call, if you want to get a bio scan, let us know. We'll be glad to help you out. You can reach me directly at Dr. Michael Explains at Gmail. I'm on Facebook. I'm Instagram. We're on YouTube, LinkedIn. We're pretty much everywhere. If I can help you, let me know. Would love to do that. Uh, would like to leave you with this, though. The world today is in probably one of the worst health crises it's ever had. We're not even gonna talk about some of the pandemic stuff, but we've got cancer, diabetes, the neurological disorders. What we have here is a way to significantly improve the health of an individual to any one of these horrible diseases. It's a huge step force forward. Um, like I said, that was Skylar. That was actually a couple of weeks ago. If we hadn't found electrolyzed reduced water, our lives would be dramatically different just from the health of Skylar and having a sick child. Um, I would love to tell you that I went looking for the best water for some noble cause. I didn't, I did it as a dad because Skylar suffered for years. 
And if, you, if you're a parent, you'll understand, you'll let yourself go, but you'll do anything it takes to help your children. So as a father, as a physician, I really felt the need to help educate people with this. If I can help you or a loved one, like I said, I left my email, Dr. Michael explains at Gmail. Let's help as many people as we can. It's, it's time. Our world is crumbling around us, the rules and the regulations. We need a way to be as healthy as we can. And this is a critical piece. Thanks.